Robin is having your child. That is not something you can hide from any more than you can ignore it. Patrick, you are going to be a father, whether you're ready or not. Elizabeth, Robin is the one determined to do this on her own. Because she doesn't want to pressure you. That doesn't mean she doesn't want you to be a part of the baby's life. Trust me. If you give up this chance to raise your child, you will always regret it. You know, Elizabeth is just trying to help, but... <laughs> she could not be more wrong. Elizabeth, you've been such a good friend to me <laughs> during my pregnancy. Such an incredible resource, answering all my questions, offering advice. And it's a comfort to me to know that, you know, you are my friend and you are a single mother and you have a career and you have a family, you have it all. And of course, as a single mother, you are entitled to your own opinion as far as how much a father should contribute to his child's life. But what you have to understand is that these are Elizabeth's feelings, not mine. I am perfectly capable of doing this all on my own. But the point is you don't have to. Look, I really do appreciate what you're trying to do, but it's not necessary. I'm excited about being a single mother. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, all of it. So please don't feel like you have to step up and get involved. You're under no obligation here. I've got everything under control. Who are you trying to convince? What you and Patrick do is your choice. I had no right to intervene. After you witnessed my meltdown earlier, who could blame you? It's just for the first time I was thinking about if I were to die, what would happen to my child? It only makes sense that you would go to Patrick and ask him to step up and be a parent. Well, that was one part. The other part is that Jason and I came close to being together, and I'm still adjusting to the reality that it'll never happen. Well, you had to do what was best for your kids. And I am so blessed, but Lucky is their father. I mean, he's, he's a great dad, and, and he will always take care of them. But I can't help but feel bad for Jason, because he has no one. By choice. Jason doesn't live a child-friendly existence. But Patrick does. I think he'll be missing out if he lets you raise that baby by yourself. Patrick never wanted to be a father, and I have to respect that. OK, I'm not criticizing your choices, but I don't think you're giving Patrick enough credit. I think he's more willing to be a father than you realize. Right. 